In this tutorial I'm going to take you through how to draw a bramble leaf step by step. The same basic steps can be followed if you're drawing another leaf. This leaf has a spiky edge called serrated or toothed and we'll learn how to add that detail in this tutorial. Your first step is to think about the width and height of your leaf which means how wide and tall it is. You can measure it with a ruler or just lay it down on your paper and make marks for the width and height. I've drawn a box here that's the width and height of the leaf so I can work inside it. Once you've done this, draw in your main stem, the petiole, and also the midrib which is the main central vein running up the middle of the leaf. Notice that the midrib is wider at the base where it meets the stem and it gets thinner as you go up to the top of the leaf. Step 3 is to draw the shape of the edge of the leaf called the leaf margin. You don't need to worry about detail at this stage, just draw some curves to show the rough shape of the leaf. Don't press too hard as we're going to rub this out later using it as a guideline. If you're confident with your drawing, just draw very lightly at this stage and then you won't need to rub it out later. Step 4 is to draw in the lateral veins. These are the veins that come off the midrib, off that central vein, and they give the leaf support and shape. Make sure you take a look at the actual leaf to see the pattern of how these veins come out from that central midrib. Don't take the veins right to the very edge of the leaf yet, we're going to add the detail of how they join to the leaf margin later. Step 5. Very carefully rub out your leaf edge, making sure you can still see it faintly as a guide unless you drew it very lightly, in which case you can just go straight to step 6. Step 6. Now you need to look really carefully at the edge of the leaf and the shape of the teeth or spikes. Using your faint line as a guide, start to draw in this detail. Make sure you think about the way that the teeth are pointing. Now you've completed the basic structure of your leaf. You have a stem or petiole, You've got a central vein going up which is called the midrib, you've got veins coming off that midrib called the lateral veins and you've got the leaf edge also called the leaf margin. So now we're going to add more detail. So step 7 we're going to start to add the smaller veins also called tertiary veins and these are going to come off those lateral veins that you've already drawn. So if you have a look at this one, I've started to add the tertiary veins that go to the edge of the leaf and you'll notice that quite a few of these curve off from the lateral vein to meet the edge of the leaf. Step 8 is a challenge task as it's very detailed work. If you can, you're going to add the rest of the tertiary veins, the tiny veins all over this leaf. The most important thing is to look at the way that they link up. On this leaf, they create curves between the lateral veins. Working on one section at a time, work across the whole leaf adding the veins using very thin, lighter lines as these veins are harder to see. Holding your leaf up to the light or using this image that I've taken will help you to see this detail. Well done! You should now have an accurate drawing of the whole leaf with all of its botanical details. Now you can rub out the square very carefully and if you want to you can add some darker lines to show some shadow as I have done on one side of the midrib and of the stem. 